Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your money and career reading for July 2020 for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you are Virgo. So let's get straight into the reading and see what your overarching message and energy is for the month in your money and career for July 2020. So Angel Spirits, guys, what is the message for Virgo? July 2020, money and career only, thank you. So this is the Tarot Grand Lux. I will be using the Energy Deck as well today and the Angel Answer cards. The main cards in the main reading will be the Radiant Wise Spirit Deck, clarifying with um, the Marchetti's Gilded Tarot Deck. At the end we will pull a Law of Attraction card to see what the message is, or a final mantra for you. So what do we have for Virgo, please? Money and career. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was worth a shuffle. It's the world. Beautiful. Okay, message for Virgo, please. Money and career only, thank you. July 2020. What's the message for it? Okay, thank you. Daughter spirit, this is beautiful. And angels, what is the message for Virgo in money and career only, please, for July 2020? Thank you. This is so beautiful, very much like the world card, which does represent success. We have success here, Virgo. Okay, so I pull, I'll come back to those cards. I am getting the cards on the table first. So first card is the issue or challenge you face in money and career finances. Second card is the advice from spirit. Third card is your outcome should you take the advice. And then we'll clarify the cards to go deeper into the message. It won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, Virgo. Okay, what is the message that Virgo needs to hear, please? Money and career only. July 2020, okay. Page of Wands, good news. The Devil. Fellow Capricorn energy, fellow Earth energy, and oh wow, this is so beautiful. Nine of Cups. Okay, let's clarify the cards on the table, Virgo. What do we have in terms of money and career for Virgo, please? Money and Career, July 2020, please, Angel Spirits Guides for Virgo. Can we clarify the page of wands to start with and the rest of the cards on the table? Thank you. Thank you. Mm, nine of wands. Nice energy. Certainly with the page of wands. Okay. The devil. Seven of cups. And we have the Four of Swords clarifying the Nine of Cups. Oh my goodness, Virgo. We've got the Nine of Cups again, bottom of this deck. <laughs> I mean, this is really beautiful energy. So I'm going to clarify a couple of cards. I want to clarify this devil. I'll just clarify the devil energy now. Thank you. Mm. 
What is this devil energy? Money and career for Virgo, July 2020, please. What is the devil card? Can we get a clarifier for that, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Oh, two cards. Five of Wands, Seven of Wands. And let's clarify this Seven of Cups as well. Because I think it is leading to the Nine of Cups. But let's just see what the Seven of Cups means. As always, the translations in tarot can be many. Can we clarify the Seven of Cups, please, for Virgo? Money and career, thank you. Okay, so it's the Eight of Cups. We've got the Seven eight and nine of cups now I get yeah okay okay thank you okay <laughs> so the world card the world card Virgo is a card of success achievement accomplishment stepping through to a new phase of your life winning as well um, it can be a card of ending a cycle and being ready to step into a new phase of your life as well I'm feeling that quite strongly applies here but it comes from learning lessons but not being hostage to the lessons that you've learned so whatever experience that you've been through and I do feel some of you have been through a difficult experience in terms of work to do with maybe a person or people I definitely feel that you are ready to, you've learnt the lessons but you're not hostage to them. You are ready to step through a new phase of your life and you're not looking back. So, I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful energy. And certainly for some of you, spirit, the universe, God, the divine, I do feel there is some kind of karma here. I mean, I do. I mean, um, I mean there is some Scorpio energy here in, in the reading, but... You know, I feel that there is some kind of guidance, divine guidance. Uh, a door is opening for you. As soon as you close one door, another one is opening. Because I certainly feel that this is what you're guided towards now. Head towards a new open door. It's almost kind of like you're being told you have possibilities ahead of you. Po positive options, positive possibilities. Um choices, decisions, um, you know, maybe more than one option to choose that is going to bring you happiness and joy. So it is time to head through that door in that direction. It's what you're being guided to do by Angel Spirits Guides. But I do feel that, you know, this is a card of a winner. This is a card of somebody who may have been through a difficult experience, but they are winning through. And that's why you're getting the success. I do I do really feel karma around you. I don't know what it is, but the energy around you is giving me goosebumps. So I definitely feel for some of you that there is some positive karma around you. Um, and it comes after a difficult journey. You know, the Nine of Wands is somebody who has come so far. It's been a struggle. They've got battle scars. And they stand guard over the past, over the past journey. And they've got one one to go until they reach completion. And there's a message here that you're so close, so close to, to maybe it is closing this door or stepping into the next phase of your life or getting to where you need to be now Virgo where you want to be having gone through uh, having spent a lot of energy a lot of hard work in terms of getting to this point because he has amassed nine ones so that is a level of success he's come so far on the journey the message is don't give up because you're so close to getting what you want and what is that well I think it's opportunity the opportunity to walk through a new door the pages can be message messengers uh, and certainly this represents some kind of opportunity here what you've been working towards you know what you've been working towards you know this is a nine we have the tenth wand it is almost kind of like getting to the goal that you've been working towards and it's been so difficult but it is coming your way for some of you. 
So it's a beautiful message here that maybe an opportunity, a job opportunity, could be a promotion, um, could be you're focusing on moving jobs or could be setting up your own business. You know, whatever this is, this is taking action towards a new phase of your life now. Could be a new path, could be with a new company, for example, but it's positive news, good news is coming your way. So lovely, lovely energy. Because for some of you, the battle has not been easy and this is represented by the Nine of Wands. For me, the devil can represent um, could represent a difficult boss or a difficult work environment. This can be disruption with colleagues as well. And it's just unhealthy. It's causing you instability. And there's a kind of feeling of one-upmanship, people playing to the bosses, massaging of egos. You kind of get what I'm saying. I do feel whatever this is, you are getting on top of this challenge, Virgo, because I feel you're focused on new options, new dreams, new hopes, and you're taking steps to move towards those. So I do feel that this you're walking, if this is a toxic working environment here, this is where, I, and this is the advice from spirit, this is about say goodbye, walk away towards new hopes, new dreams, new wishes. Make choices based on your intuition and you won't go wrong. It's almost kind of like you're being told you have more options than you realize here. Um, to bring your hopes, dreams and wishes to reality. Because the Eight of Cups is when somebody isn't wholeheartedly happy, when they may have been let down. Sometimes this can also represent empty promises with the combination of cards here. You're walking away because there's been empty promises and there could have been some friction and disagreement as a result of that. Things just didn't manifest. And I think you're walking towards something better because, you know, the Eight of Cups wants the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is appearing twice in your reading. We have seven, eight, and two nines here. So for some of you, you're realizing that there is a missing cup here. Something hasn't lived up to hope, dream, expectation for whatever reason. And now you want to focus on what is going to make you happy, what is going to bring success, fulfillment, happiness. Um, achievement into your life now because I just feel that this has just been too hard. I feel this journey has been too hard. I feel it has been draining and you are focused on a new path, a new opportunity. So you might well be walking away from one company maybe towards another. I'm feeling that quite strongly for some of you because the main energy I'm feeling here is the toxic, difficult work environment that has been a real challenge to overcome. And yet, where you might have felt powerless in the past, um, I think you're taking steps to do something about it now. And that's kind of like very much in line with what we have here. You know, the Four of Swords is interesting because it's a, it's a recovery from conflict. So I think you're getting your head around the steps, the decisions, uh, the actions that you need to take now in order to move forward. You know, this is the, also it can be a, a knight that needs to recover, catch their breath, um, get perspective on a situation and they have respite from the, from the conflict, if you like. So it is time to get your head around a situation and see the way forward. And I feel you do. And this is right next to this Eight of Cups. So I'm kind of feeling for some of you, you're getting your head around a situation and you're understanding whatever this is, it's not lived up to hope, dream or expectation. And you're doing something about it in order to bring your hopes, dreams and wishes to reality, which is why I think this is here. Because, you know, the page is saying there is good news here. There is maybe an opportunity that you've been hoping for, wishing for, praying for, actively pursuing is coming your way. Because we have two Nine of Cups here, which is the Wish Fulfillment card. Um, it's also a card of celebration, Virgo as well. And I do want to push that point home as well, because um, this is where you'll be sharing your cups with other people who matter to you, who you're emotionally connected with, you'll be in that happy place. You know, the two nine of cups is, is a real happy place. It's real fulfillment. It's getting your heart's desire. It's getting exactly what you want. 
And that's why you have the achievement card here, because I feel for some of you, you're stepping through into a new phase of your life and you're not looking, you know, you, you might look back, but you're not held hostage to the experience. Um, because a new door, door to spirit is opening to you, which ultimately is signifying that there will be success. And the two nines are success. This is a card of success. The nines can generally be a success in your own right. The nines are generally the individual sol solitary person the reading's for. The tens can be you and other people around you sometimes. But this is absolutely you making your hopes, dreams and wishes happen. And, and I do feel, and the message here is don't give up. Don't give up, keep going. It is a challenge, the seven of wands. It is a challenge, but you're so close here. You're so close. It's almost kind of like one more push and you have all your hopes, dreams and wishes happening for you. So for some of you, I absolutely feel that there is some good news and opportunity coming your way. With, and it's exactly what you want. And I think that there will be a celebration, joy, and you're just thinking, I can put maybe this difficult phase of my life behind me and step into my success. It's beautiful energy. It's beautiful, beautiful energy. I'm gonna pull a card of, I'm just gonna pull one. Obviously, I don't need to, I don't need to, I don't need to because honestly, I've just turned the turn this over and we have the page of wands again. So that's a sign to me, Virgo, that the good news is coming, that is linked with hopes, dreams and wishes. If you've been interviewing for a job, if you have options or choices to make with regard to jobs or avenues to pursue, it's a message to, to, to trust your intuition. Nine of cups, eight of cups, seven of cups make intuitive choices that is absolutely the, the way to go because the cups energy is very much linked with your intuition do what feels right now do what your instincts are telling you to do follow what your inner knowing is telling you to do as well certainly the eight and nine of cups is very piscean energy 12th house energy you are being guided by spirit and um, got angels spirits guide so um, there's a, a deeply intuitive energy associated certainly with the eight and nine of cups and, and certainly with the seven it is making intuitive choices in terms of yeah I just feel you have options available could be in the form of opportunities but I do feel you've got more options than you realize as well here and actively pursue a new hope a new dream because it's within your grasp two cards of good news coming your way two cards of you will be successful some of you are stepping <laughs> stepping through a journey at the end of a journey to a new beginning so i don't think the cards can be any more specific here um i love that two pages have come out because they are some they are signs they herald good news coming your way and i think it's in the form of the opportunity that is literally just one step out of your grasp so keep going beautiful energy. I'm going to pull a Law of Attraction card to finish off the reading. I can learn to prioritise my intentions. It is important for you to identify which intentions you most want to fulfill because as you prioritize, you give your singular attention to what is most important. And as you give that your singular attention by the law of attraction, you attract power unto that attention that is most important to you and you make it happen. The nines are about making it happen. So it is that single focused intention here just make sure you know there it's like there are maybe options open to you the message is focus on one focus on what you're moving towards because for some of you we have the seven eight and nine of cups <laughs> so something is achievable and manifestable here to make real in your in your real life very much linked with this one's energy the page of ones the good news I hope you enjoyed the reading, Virgo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.